What up? We're here in Fukui Prefecture, and where are we today, Mopo? We are in Ichijodani Asakura Family Historic Ruins. So basically, this place is like an old, uh, really old kind of village? Yeah, it's a village of samurais. Basically, a lot of samurais, so, um, and you can dress like one too, right here? Yeah, so we just did. Yeah, so once again, if you guys don't know, this is Origo 47. We'll be traveling to all 47 prefectures of Japan and vlogging every single day, so stay up to date. And uh, we are going to show you guys how we look as real Japanese people back in the olden days. So this is a traditional wear in a Sengoku period for samurai's wives or um, women of high status. Alright, so we are here in this historical ruin area and I'm dressed as a samurai. How cool is this? I mean, I even got my own swords. I got... I got... <laughs> I've got two swords. And wait, let me put this back. Hold on a second. And uh, this was 500 yen just to put this on. And we only have 15 minutes, so we're trying to rush through this, but it's only 500 yen, and it's quite the experience because you can get dressed like how the people actually lived in this era. So I think it's really awesome. So it was 500 yen for 15 minutes uh, to wear the samurai gear and it was actually really heavy. I have a lot of respect for samurai because that was supposedly only 10 to 15 kilos and because it was only made out of uh, plastic, um, it was actually a lot uh, lighter than um, what it's supposed to be. So like my back of my neck, that helmet was so heavy. The back of my neck was hurting a little bit and uh, the chest piece, like I was like sweating all over my chest because the chest piece was really heavy too. So um, I don't know how they fought with that heavy armor on, but a lot of respect to you, samurai people. Hey guys, we finished up in this uh, old little village where we got to dress up as a samurai and the girls got to dress up as a high class woman and back in that day. And um, actually this spot is not a typical touristy spot here in Fukui Prefecture. So um, I would definitely highly recommend it. It's not usually in the tourist books is what it said on all the websites. So it's kind of like a hidden gem, I think, for Fukui Prefecture. So, okay guys, we're gonna head to the waterfalls next. It's called Ichijo Waterfalls. Should be beautiful, because I love uh, water, as you guys saw in my last couple of videos. Because I'm a Pisces, gotta love the water. And um, many of you guys said you like water too, so let's enjoy it together. Let's go. Hey guys, so we made it to the Ichijoni. Ichijoni? Ichijo Taki! Ichijo Taki, uh, waterfall. Hey guys, so that's gonna do it for the vlog. We made it back to uh, Fukui Station. We are staying in a hotel near the station, so um, we are basically just gonna chill for the rest of the day. And uh, tomorrow we have a really big day, uh, so we'll keep you updated tomorrow. But in the meantime, look at these dinosaurs. They're making sounds. They're moving around, looking all scary. And uh, yeah, so tomorrow we're going to do some paper making and going to a famous site uh, that has a big cliff. Um, so I, we're supposed to eat some seafood around there, so that's the plan. 
And uh, once again, this is Odoo 47. We'll be traveling to all 47 prefectures, so stay up to date because we'll be vlogging every single day. And I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!